Hi, in this video I'm going to introduce you to a few very basic Unity components. We'll also add an XR grabbable object to a game object so we can interact with it using the VR controllers. For those of you that have followed the previous video to set up the Oculus Quest with Unity, you can start from the project we created. This video is useful for people that have another VR headset as well, since we use the universal Unity XR interaction toolkit. Just make sure you have set up the correct settings in Unity to be able to use the XR Interaction Toolkit with your device. In this video we are going to make the following app. With a bit of imagination you can see that we take a paintbrush and change the color by putting it in a paint bucket with a different color. Before opening Unity make sure you have Visual Studio installed. This will be needed to edit C Sharp scripts. You can download Visual Studio from the following link. visualstudio.microsoft.com slash downloads. Download and install Visual Studio and sign up or log in with a Microsoft account for free. Okay, let's begin. Open up Unity. I open up my Unity project, my first VR app. As you can see, there are already a bunch of things in the scene, but I will create a new and empty scene. You can do this by going to Assets, Scenes, right click, Create and select Scene. Fill in a name and open the scene. Now we have a new empty scene. We will begin by going to the hierarchy to delete the main camera by selecting it and pressing delete. Now let's start adding objects. Let's begin by adding a floor to the scene. Right click, 3D object, plane. In the inspector go to transform to set all the positions to zero. Let's add the room scale XR rig. Right click, XR, room scale XR rig. The next thing to add is a table to put the paint buckets on. Right click, 3D object, cube. In the inspector go to scale and change the scale to the following values. 2.5, 0 0.4 and 0 0.8. As you can see the table is floating. Let's change the Y position to 0 0.2. The position is calculated from the center of the cube. If you were to set the Y position to 0, half of the cube would be above and half of the cube would be below the plane. Let's move the table with blue and red arrows. The red arrow is the X axis and the blue arrow is the Z axis. Let's change the name of the cube in the hierarchy to table. Let's add the paint buckets. Right click, 3D object, cylinder. Set the scale in the inspector to 0 0.3, 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 and change the Y position to 0.6. This is the sum of 0.4 from the table and 0.2 from the cylinder itself. Move the cylinder onto the table. Copy the cylinder with Ctrl C and move it on the table. Copy it again so we have three cylinders. Change the name in the hierarchy to blue, green and red. Select the three cylinders. You can do this with Ctrl plus click. You can see that they are selected in the hierarchy as well. In the hierarchy you can use Ctrl plus click as well to select objects. Check its trigger in the capsule collider. This will make sure the buckets will trigger when we interact with them. Let's add the paintbrush. For this we will add another cylinder. Change the scale to 0 0.05, 0 0.2, and 0 0.05. Change the Y position to 0 0.6. Change the name. To make sure we can grab the paintbrush, we need to add an XR Grab Interactable. Select the object and in the inspector click on Add Component. Select XR Grab Interactable. This adds a rigid body to the object as well. We don't need to change any settings here. At the moment the paint buckets don't have a color yet. To do this we go to Assets and create a new folder materials. Right click, Create, Folder. To add a color to an object in Unity we have to add a material to it. Open the folder. To add a material, right click, create, material. 
name it blue and in the inspector change the color to blue. Make sure you do it right. You can now drag the material onto the object. Drag the material to the correct paint bucket. Add two more materials, green and red, and drag them to a cylinder. The last thing we need to do is to create a C Sharp script. Go to Assets and add a folder called Scripts. Now we will add a C Sharp script. Right click, create, C Sharp script, and name it Change Color. Double click the script to open it. This will open a script in Visual Studio. First of all, delete the Start and Update functions. You can delete line 1 and 2 as well. Now we'll add a function that does something when the paintbrush hits a paint bucket. Remember we set the paint buckets to is trigger. Let's set up the function we need. Start with private, void, and on trigger enter. You can auto complete when selecting on trigger enter and then pressing tab. This will set up the empty function for us. We now need to make sure that the material from the paint bucket is copied to the paint brush. To do this, we have to access the material of the mesh renderer in this code. To do that, type get component, followed by a lesser than sign, mesh renderer, greater than sign, and two normal parentheses. To get the material of the mesh renderer, type dot material. We have to set this equal to the material of the object we collided with. You can see the other parameter in the function, which we can use. So we can type other dot get component followed by a lesser than sign, mesh renderer, greater than sign, and two normal parentheses, dot material. To end this line of code, add a semicolon. Save the script and close Visual Studio. All we have to do now is to add the script to the paintbrush. Select the script and drag it on the paintbrush object in the hierarchy. That's it. Go to File and hit Build and Run and test out your very own app in your VR headset. If you want to download the complete project, you can download it from my Patreon page. Thank you for watching.